Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Lau with Kenshan Crafts. Today I wanted to do a special Thanksgiving video for you guys. I hope that you're all having a wonderful Thanksgiving, spending time with your family, and if you guys are not with family, that's totally fine too. <laughs> but whatever you're doing on Thanksgiving, I hope you're having a wonderful day, and this video is also a, an appreciation, thankful video for all of you guys, my viewers, and friends in my pen community who have been helping me along the way, supporting my channel, uh, using my code to shop at Atlas Stationer, supporting Atlas, supporting me, and so I wanted to do a little bit of the unboxing of a few things that I bought, or that I've gotten, and the biggest thing in here that you guys helped with me securing my dream pen well, one of my dream pens <laughs> so yes let's switch over and take a look at all the stuff okay so two more boxes came one of them came from alice stationers and this one is the most special one and i uh, i just want to thank every single one of you my viewers my followers on instagram for using my atlas stationer code and, and and also use my link if you click on the link and you're not able to use the code because some pens are on sale for so much that <laughs> you can't use my code and so if you do uh, shop through my link that also helps in supporting my channel so the atlas stationer was a very special one and then I also got something from Gold Spot. Well, two things from Gold Spot. So let's open this up first. So obviously this one is the, uh, let's see, it says Fountain Pen Day. If you guys have already bought this, then you know where it is. This is the Estabrook To Go Cup. It is the uh, 2023 Fountain Pen Day Special Edition To Go Cup in magenta. Now, I don't really care for like magenta items, but when I saw this on some videos, I decided that I wanted it because it's such a lovely magenta red pink. And it's a special edition, so. Ooh. Let's see. That's why we made this for you. All the, I think this is a sticker. Yay. So nice. Oh. Okay. And like, like I said, red black is a special color for me and anything red is also very, very lovely. And like this magenta is more red in my opinion. It's, it's like a reddish, pinkish, purple, all mixed together. Almost maroon, but a little bit more pinkish than, uh, you know, the, the dark maroons. This is so lovely. Wow. R. Estabrook Company steel pens oh, it feels so nice and is it this is magnetic i like that okay the uh and then oh this closes it okay so let's open this up and see what the contents on the inside is like so i think you can like un oh, fold it like that to open it up and there is a six slot and oh this is going to be interesting to work with um wow you would think that the cup comes already made but no i'm gonna have to like shape it <laughs> wow huh let me just take out six of my pens and just slide them in there so that i can create the slots i'm gonna use the pens that are just resin so I feel like safer to create these. Um, and then let me make Pokemon pen. There we go. And my Visconti Homo sapiens. It's nice and bulky. Okay. All right. I mean, I wanted to give every single pen about the same amount of space. But I think it's also very custom. Like. Even though they're not the same size, it can fit pens based on their own size. So I do like that. Uh, and the Visconti Homo sapiens is, a, it's not as snug as the rest of these. Like this one is very snug. Um, this one is snug, but this one, this spot here, I, I <laughs> gave a lot of room. So they can just sit like that on your table, ready to write with. 
uh, oh wow it, it, like it, it it's maintains its shape and like it stands by itself without falling and tipping over i like that and then when i want to use a pen i just take it out that is so convenient <laughs> so this is a to-go i i um i believe it secures pretty well let's see so magnet closure close this up and pull this string inwards i believe you can like also tie this if you want just for extra like closure and so let me see none of my pens are falling out I'm putting quite a bit of pressure on my <laughs> shake there. It doesn't completely close. So any pens that may be loose. Um, so yeah, my Visconti did come out. Or maybe I can close it even more. Okay. So yeah, you can shut it even more. And I do suggest tying this up if you are going out. Your larger pens like my Visconti had a very, very big slot that it wasn't in there snugly. But this way now my Visconti will still like fall out of its section, but it will not fall out of this hole because I made sure it's tight. So that is my to-go cup. I love it so much. I love this red. It is gorgeous. And the inside is this lovely soft pink plush here. Yep. Uh, it's like a salmon pastel pink. I'm not quite sure exactly the color tone, but it is very soft, and I think it complements really well with this bright magenta maroon here. <laughs> I oh my gosh, so happy! Who who else bought a Esterbrook to go cup in magenta? Let me know in the comments how you like yours. Now this is the Gold Spot Mystery Dip. Yeah, mystery dip pen. And this was a $99 pen, and it was in the weekly dip, which meant that it was on a very, very discounted price. So it was $49, <laughs> and I just decided, you know what? I'm going to try one. It's a $99 value pen, which means that this pen is at least $99, probably more. And then it also comes with five uh, ink samples. I don't expect it to be an expensive pen, but I do hope it's... I'm hoping that it's a Retro 51, the, the purple one with the leaves. Uh, I guess they call it Autumn. I'm hoping it's that one because that one retails for 99 So let me know in the comments what your guess for this pen is. So this is going to be a spoiler for anybody that hasn't bought this yet. Uh, if you don't want to know, skip this section. <laughs> All right. <gasps> oh, okay. It is a Retro 51. Oh my God. Wow. Wait, is it Retro 51? This is the Tornado by Retro 50, 1951. Yeah. Yes! It's a Retro 51. Oh, wow. This is a, okay, this is a colorway I don't really uh, pick, but it's very similar to my Aurora pen. And so I like it. I like it. Yes! It's a, it's a Yovo nib. Um, I am more of a gold trim person, so, but this one just looks so lovely. Interesting. Such an interesting pen. Yeah, it's definitely more like earthy graphite and uh, rocks or limestone kind of colors. I love it. I'm glad that it's not just one tone. I, I do love a pen that has multiple tones in it. So yes, this is a... Oh, I'm so happy with this one. It's it's uh, Retro 51 Tornado Pens. Right, Tornado? They're $99. <laughs> so I, I love that I got this on a great sale. I don't know what that... There's a sound in there. I think that might be the uh, converter. Yeah, let's see. Oh. It's shut pretty tightly. Huh. Okay, I'm gonna have to figure out how to open this without breaking it. Feels like it's glued shut. <laughs> but I mean, how else am I going to get ink in there? So yeah, I'm gonna email Tom about this because I won't be able to ink up anything. I can only dip test for the moment. 
but I love this pen. I like it. I like it a lot for $49. It's a really interesting pen. Okay. Let's see. Your dip is Retro 51 Silver Lining. That's what it's called. Your friends at Gold Spot. And the inks that came with it are Summer Storm by Robert Oster. Gris Nuage by uh, H130. Majestic Black by Robert Oster. Celadon Cat by Dominant oh, DM. What is that one? Diamine? Yeah, I think that's Diamine. And then Eclipse by Diamine. Hmm. I know Celadon Cat. That one is kind of like Wearing Ghoul's Celadon, Gorio Celadon. It's basically a really soft jade green. I'm excited to test. I, I guess these colors kind of match this pen, like Storm, Black, Gris is gray. So these are probably in the gray tones. Celadon Cat is more of a tealy green jade color and eclipse kind of sounds like a blue black so i think they're all meant to match this pen so what a lovely mystery dip <laughs> all right yeah let me know if you guys uh which one of you guys bought this pen as well it's so lovely okay and the last pen i will share with you guys is from atlas pens hey new pen day <laughs> Um, Kim? Oh my goodness, Ken. <laughs> All right. You guys can guess what that V means. It's a Visconti pen. I, so Atlas does this experience pen sale at the end of every month. It experience pens are pens that were bought, dipped, or inked, and returned. And so the customers didn't want them and Atlas will not, they do not sell those pens at retail value or at the value that their store has it for. So they put it at a very discounted price at the end of every month. And they sell these experience pen in their store and then they put it up for sale on the Discord channel. So if you guys are not already in the atlas discord channel definitely join it it's, it's very fun <laughs> there's a lot of pen enabling and pen talk stationary ink it's a very fun uh, discord channel uh, it can be a little overwhelming you get lots of uh, information when new pens arrive or when discounts are happening great great place to get all that information and this i got this from the experience pen uh, on the discord and on top of that i was able to use my atlas stationers affiliate earnings because all of you guys have been helping me by shopping at atlas and using my code to get savings for yourself and those savings in turn become my affiliate earnings so thank you thank you so much you guys every time like you save say $50 on a Visconti or $50 off your order. That money does become my affiliate earnings because I am helping out Atlas with spreading the word for their shop and for people to shop at their store. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you so much for all of you guys in helping me get the dream pen, my dream pen, and it is the Visconti Homo Sapiens Crystal Dream. Oh, let's open it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh. My Visconti Homo Sapiens that I bought, this one was pre-loved on eBay and it didn't come with a box. So this is my first time unboxing the Homo Sapiens. Ooh. Beautiful, beautiful box. It says Visconti right there. Oh my goodness. <gasps> okay, let's see. It's got... Oh, wow, this paper is ugh, luxurious. Homo Sapiens Collection. Mm. One of the most iconic, lovely pens ever. And then the Dark Lava Age... Uh, the Lava Dark Age. Here's my Crystal Dream. And then the Lava... The, uh, the lava color, they, they have other colors in the lava uh, Homo sapiens series. The warranty would be like here. So this is the dealer stamp. This is basically the warranty booklet. Visconti does have, I believe, life 
long warranty. If there's anything wrong with your pen throughout its lifetime, you can work with uh, your retailers. So I would be working with Atlas Stationers to help me with that. And then there's a polishing cloth right here. Yes, I needed this. So the polishing cloth here is to polish the bronze because this pen does have real bronze or you can just let it patina over time. Okay. Oh my God. <laughs> oh. oh my. I am just going to breathe a little bit here. This is so beautiful. Okay. This is a resin window. So it's not a glass because it's going to break. <laughs> resin is a very, very sturdy plastic that mimics glass, but most resins are opaque. Some resins are translucent. This one is completely transparent and wow, just wow. I, I just love all the rings, the gold, uh, and this is bronze, but it's basically kind of like a gold color. It's almost like rose gold. Yeah, this, this top here or this finial here is like a little bit rose goldish compared to the, and this is like yellow gold. And then this is copper or not copper, bronze. It's so interesting. Oh, I love it so much. And then, ooh, oh, wow. Oh. And there's the nib. This is an 18 karat gold fine nib. And I believe it is rose gold to match the bronze trims. So it is kind of a good match. All right. So they said that the cap mechanism here requires a little bit of breaking in. And I can see what they mean by that. So, but it's very smooth. Like taking it out is kind of a little awkward, but uncapping it or like undoing the hook lock mechanism is pretty easy. And then I just have to turn it a little bit. And so it's kind of not completely smooth coming out, but the unlocking mechanism is very smooth. Let me see. Okay. Let me just make sure that the nib is not scratchy because we know Visconti does have some quality issues, but that does not mean that it can't be good. Okay, I do not feel any scratchiness. So the nib, I believe is perfect. So the threads here are very, very new. And definitely needs some breaking in for sure. I mean, it's a new pen. It's this body is made of lava and resin, so it's it's interesting in that way. But I do like that it is very new and it will close itself really securely without the, so that the ink does not dry out. My Visconti Homo sapiens here, the threads are very, very, very used, and you can see that. It's, it's they're barely there anymore. So this pen does dry up a little bit if I don't use the pen every day. There are my two Homo sapiens. The Crystal Dream comes with two ink windows. So this large ink window and the ink window here at the band. I think that this does take away a little bit of the beauty of the pen, but it gives it a whole different kind of beauty. And it's called a crystal dream. I just love crystals. It just reminds me of healing crystals, outer space, stars, kind of that kind of vibe. So I am just so happy that this is this is my Visconti dream pen. Uh, this is my this was my Visconti Grail, and now this my Visconti dream pen, the crystal dreams. So I've decided that I wanted to ink up my Visconti Homo Sapiens uh, Crystal Dream with the new Visconti green ink that I bought. Green teals are literally my favorite inks <laughs> to write with. So it's just the ink that I'm going to be putting in here. And you can see here, the ink kind of sloshes in and out of that ink window. It's really pretty. 
Now I, the Visconti uh, bottle has a weird ink well in there. So I wasn't able to like dip the nib all the way in there to really submerge and then pull up ink. So I didn't have too much in there, but I'm going to try and invest in a Visconti ink miser so that I can just easily fill this because the Visconti Crystal Dreams has a really huge ink capacity. It's about twice the amount of the regular Visconti Homo sapiens Bronze Age. So it's just amazing and I just can't wait to like really fill it all the way up and just watch as it you know decreases as I'm writing. So I wanted to share a little bit of a writing sample just to see how beautiful this pen is. So we'll zoom in here. Oh, this nib is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it, love it, love it. And there it is, the F for fine. This fine is perfect for how I love to write. I do like a fine line, so I, I kind of like Western fines and Western extra fines. So that's Japanese mediums, fines. Uh, and those are just the perfect nib sizes for me. I do also enjoy Western mediums as well. Those are like my go-to for shimmer inks. This is my Visconti. Homo sapiens. Crystal. Dream. This fine nib, this gold nib, is um, slightly soft and bouncy. So it's got some line variations if you know how to create those line variations. Not too much, but I'm okay with that. It's, it's the bounciness makes this pen write very nice. So let's test the wetness. It's moderately wet, not completely wet. But yeah, I like that. It dries kind of fast. So for left-handers, this would be really nice. This is, this is, a, <laughs> Visconti green kind of leans a little bit blue, um, but in other lighting, it's very green. So this is a very, very interesting, lovely uh, tealy green. So I just think that because Visconti is one of my favorite Italian pens, that this pen is just perfect. So thank you, thank you everyone for helping me to achieve this goal. And I am so happy, so, so happy. Like this is basically all of you guys' birthday present to me <laughs> as my birthday is coming up. So thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Your supporting Atlas Stationers, your greatly supporting me in my YouTube adventures and YouTube endeavor. <laughs> so I will continue to post videos that are helpful, entertaining, and fun for you guys. So if you have any questions or comments, let me know down in the comments section. Yeah, so this is my Thanksgiving uh, video for you guys. I hope you all have a very, very wonderful Thanksgiving. And again, I truly, truly am grateful and thankful for all of my viewers and all of you guys who shop through my link and use my code. I'm just eternally grateful for you guys. So yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.